Hello! Very exciting news today. Fallout Shelter is now available on PC. I've been playing it on my mobile for quite some time now. Um, I had a bit of a lull recently because I was quite high level and I didn't really have much to do. And so let's make a new vault on here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and I'm going to call this Vault 1 5 0 And there's a reason for that. The channel is, and I'm very happy about this, about to reach 150,000 views. Very happy about that. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And hopefully, we'll be speeding up the view count very quickly in the future. And now, let's see. Let's go for let's go for survival mode. Let's try and speak properly first of all. Let's go for survival mode. Uh, we've detected hazardous, rigorous, uh, deadlier threats. Need for resources greater. You won't be able to revive. Oh, so we best not lose anyone. Once you proceed along, there's no going back. Uh, we'll assume you're complete. Yep, yep, yep. Good luck. Strongly recommend. Well, I've done a normal vault before. I, I am, I am mostly proficient in the game. Let's create the vault. So it's been a long time since I've seen this starting. I can't remember if this happened before or not. Uh, still, yep. I am now the overseer of Vault 150. Uh, keeps people safe from dangers. Yes, it does indeed. Unless they have to go outside for some reason, or the dangers come in. Um, yep. Job. Yep. Safe and happy. I can do that. Alive is good as well. I mean, you know, I don't know. If, I don't know how safe they'll be. They may need a lot of Stimpact, but I will keep them alive. Fingers crossed. Of course, there's no revives now. Eek. Right, here we go. Helpful hint. Basic concepts. Yes, we can build stuff. That's a big part of the game. And I'm going to build... I'm going to build this down here, actually, rather than on the top, because later on I'm going to want to have lots of rooms on the top. I want to have them one, one, one. And the most efficient way of building stuff is to put them in sort of uh, groups. Oh, he's got a lot of special, so he's going to be good for um, yeah, good for power generation. <laughs> Very handy that. There's uh, we've got a power plant just there that we just built. And you, we can't click on to find. Oh, you, you are plus two. That's not so bad. Uh, we probably want to breed you very shortly. <laughs> Sounds like a science experiment. Yeah, we're just going to breed these humans. Um, yeah, because we want more people. But yeah, when you build um rooms, if you do a three by three, you can join them together, and then they're more efficient that way. And yep, there we are. Double click on the room, take a close look. Yep, sure, let's go with that. If you're in dire need of extra resources, you can use the rush. Yep, okay, let's do the rush things they're telling us to. 33%. Mm, not sure on that. I don't think I had a. I, I like to go for a very low risk. Why do we have a VATS? Um, interesting. So yeah, so one, uh, let's build a second room. I should probably talk a bit more about the uh, little people we've got. Um, I'm going to build down here actually with the diner. Because I'm not sure. I think you might only be able to go to a cross there. I don't know. And I want to be as efficient as possible. So let's build one more room. Okie dokie. Let's build a water. Yep. They'll need something to drink with their meal. And indeed to live. In fact, I don't think you should probably build the water first, shouldn't you? Ah, more dwellers. They'll be very useful for staffing my rooms. Yes. Who are they? Two, four, five for the looks of things. And so let's let's click on this first chap. See here we've got the uh, standard sort of things that you have to put your skill points into in the normal fallouts. So we've got the, the uh, strength. Perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Those are the things that make you special. And he's got fairly high perception, so let's pop him down there, because that's good for water treatment. And as you can see, he's changed into a little vault suit. You've got luck, is quite good, but agility is also one of your higher ones, so we'll put you with food, because food tends to. Well, food's good for. Uh, you use agility for the food, is what I'm trying to say here. I'm getting uh, a bit tongue tied. Uh, you've got high perception, so we'll put you there, and we have completed, down here, a little task that we've been given, so that's very good. You have very high agility, you, sir, are going to be the best waiter I've ever seen. And you have high perception, ah, we've got two of them backing out on the perception front. So what, what, I noticed they've got weapons, I don't remember them having so many weapons before when uh, I started vaults. I think a lot of them turned up unarmed. Well, they're actually, come to think of it, in the late game, they did have some rubbish weapons. Oh, hello. Oh, that's only a it's rusty. Damn. What do you have? You've got a BB. What have you got? Oh, you've got one of them. That's not so bad. So our best weapon, it would appear, is this gun. Here. Now, you've got uh, you've got two charisma. So I'm going to stick you straight up here. Let's get some breeding going on. And uh, now you, sir. Oh, you are on your own dealing with a fire. Let's bring you across here. 
Now then you mate, what have you got in the prisoner department? Absolutely sod all. A one. What about you? Ah, you have two charisma. Let's pop you upstairs then and see if you can't get some babies made. And what do you have? You have one as well. But you have good perception. Which is why we're going to send you down here to do that. And hang on, you've ended up... No, no, that's right, that's right, yep, yep. I thought they'd swapped around. Oh, hello. New, new dweller. And who might you be? Linda Brooks. You're good on the agility. And not much else. Let's just bring you in to guard the vault for now. I'm so used to having all, you know, loads of dwellers, all with a special of ten, you know, for each category. And I've got to say, it's a bit jarring coming back to uh, to this early level. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got, uh, oh, I noticed a little symbol up there I haven't seen before. Someone's the waste, and we'll do that in a second. Um, rush one room, collect 50 water. Well, it makes sense then that we rush the, oh, actually, no, 30 seconds left. Let's let that run through. In the meantime, let's quickly send you out. And as soon as you're out and we've completed the objective, we'll bring you back in. Because you don't have a very good gun, so you won't be of much use in the wasteland, I don't think. Do -do 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 -do. Come on. And completed. Fabulous. Yep. Well, oh, come on home. Home, come home. Oh, hang on. Recall, that's how we do it. <laughs> I'm not going to use it. Oh, yeah, now that reminds me. Notice up here we've got the uh, little Nuka Cola Quantum Bottles. They're new. Added in with this uh, update. They allow you to recall people instantly, it would seem. Uh, there's also, I believe, combat has changed quite a bit. And there's, uh, yes, I noticed earlier, there's this little quest thing. So that's... Ah, I need the overseer's office for that. How does one get an overseer's In the building, I'd imagine. Um, not seeing... Oh, it's not going to be right down the end, is it? Like, Ah, no, no. 18 dwellers. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Because I was, I was worried it'd be right down here with, like... Uh, you know, after the Nuka-Cola bottle, I thought, you know, probably going to ask me for 150 dwellers or something stupid like that, and I was going to say, oh dear. But no, 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 just 18. Was it 16? 16? Uh, somewhere around 16 or 18. Anyway, we need to get moving with the uh, with the people. We've only got eight, so we need to double our capacity. Ah. So we've got all of the people here. What's our Eight out of eight, that's our maximum capacity. So can we... We can upgrade rooms. There we are. So we can go plus two. We've got two... Yeah, we've got enough caps. Let's do that. What is my new objective now, by the way, after level up a dweller? So we can get boxes for all of those. <laughs> Just wandered in, hello, how are you guys doing? How's the, uh, the love making? Um, <laughs> get out of there, you nosy perv. Um, right. Oh, there's a fire. Marvellous. That's just what I wanted. Fortunately, it was in water treatment. Don't get water to put it out, I guess. I don't think that's quite how it works. Oh, there's only 18 seconds. Let's, uh, well, we'll skip ahead, maybe. Mm, let's put you on standby, and you can be the next person to have a child. And there we go. Ready to rush. 33%. Uh, let's hope it goes okay. Failed. Darn it. Quick, put the fire out, guys. <laughs> How's their health doing, by the way? Well, they've, they've lost a little bit in these fires. They have lost a little bit. They do have very slow uh, healing over time, though. And that will have to do, and, so, and I believe, oh yeah, when they level up, they also get full health. So that's going to be useful, because I can't build stim packs just yet. Ooh. Hello. The little vault boy's popped up to say hello. Not sure why. That sounds a bit like a euphemism. Ah, that's why he's popped up to say hello. It's on. There we go. What would I do without you? Well, you wouldn't be able to do what you're now doing without him, so that's one thing that you wouldn't be doing. All the little happy faces. Obviously going back, oh hello, you can... They're doing it standing up. While occupy while side by side it would seem. That's a neat trick. Um, right. You are now pregnant and will go to work. Because we can't have slackers in the vault. And which one of you is Ah, you're you Miss Charismatic. Um, now actually we don't want all of our dwellers to have the same father, so you've got no charisma. You've got no charisma. You've got no charisma, so actually we probably will give them the same father for now. It's only the third. I mean, he's, he can have two kids, can't he? Or three, even. How's your charisma? Not great. How are you in the uh, charisma department? No. I've been given... This is not a vault of the beautiful people, is it? No, nope. charisma very low again. 
This must be a special control group of uh, antisocial people who have problems with conversation and intimacy. Although, at least two of you have got around the problems. Eh? Eh? Anyway, you're clipboarding there, which I assume is very important for the production of power. Probably counting all of the, uh, all of the watts as they get created. There we go, a bit of food, and you guys have another fire. Quite how the water production plant is having so many fires, I don't- Hello. There's a man up here. Is he dressed like a tunnel snake? He looks like he's dressed like a tunnel snake to me. He's got a gun. He's got a very nice gun. He's got, uh, oh, where's he gonna go? Oh, he can go there. You shall be the, uh, next Casanova in the vault. As you wander around pointing your gun. Yes, that's, that's sensible. Likes his gun, doesn't he? Oh, he's, he, yes, he's, he's got low intelligence, so he's probably... Yeah, you could holster that, mate. There's no need to run around pointing it everywhere at the set, all the time. He's a bit bright, really, you know, he'd hold it a bit, I mean, you know, I mean, I suppose she's got her, but it's not at the ready, though, it's not on her shoulder, or she's not... I suppose you could hit shoot it, couldn't she? But never mind. You know, you, you could sling it over your shoulder. I don't think you're going to be... You know, you're going to have some warning of an attack, I'm sure. Okay, we've moved on a bit now. We've got uh, another pregnant dweller, and we've got another one in progress with uh, another chap who uh, has a little bit of charisma. So there we go, we're getting them going. And we're going to attempt an objective now. We're going to rush this. Let's see if this will work this time. And... Failed. We are not doing well on the rushes. Let's try again with the diner. 32%, so slightly better chance. And let's see. Yes, there we go. We successfully rushed a room. And that gives us a Vault Tech lunchbox. Uh, you can win these in game or you can purchase them. I've never actually purchased one. I've always gone for them in game. And let's see what we get. Let's open it up. First card. Food. Okay, fair enough. I'd rather it was caps. Hmm. That's, yeah, that's better than... Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's, that's going to be useless for now. That's a crafting item. And, oh, caps, they're useful. And then, can we have something very good here? Come on. Cap, that's pretty nice. That'll give me a chance to expand the vault a bit more. That's going to take a while to get some power going. But let's let's risk it. Let's chance it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. There we, oh, look at that. Right up a bit. Marvellous. So all of these are going to function well now. Interesting thing actually, if you uh, have a lack of power, then the uh, buildings, not the buildings, the, the rooms, which are furthest away from it, will start to go off first. So say this vault went all the way down here, and we had like a, another diner down here, that would stop working before that one. Which, be, which I think is pretty cool, I like the way they've done that, it's sort of, this, um, yeah, two seconds, fabulous. Right. There we go, that's completed, and now, where's my lunchbox? Here it is. What are we going to get? I mean, we've got a not a very good gun. A magnifying glass. 100 caps. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Nuka Cola Quad. That is, a, that's fabulous. Three of them. Great. Brand new item, and it's purple. I do like the little effect when that came out. Not much useful right now. Oh, hello, and a shimmery, shimmery bitter cup. I don't think I've got her on my uh, on my mobile. That's interesting. That's uh, and oh, one thing there. We've had, we've seen lunch boxes. There's also Mr. Handies you can get, and they automatically collect your resources for you. So you don't have to go around clicking everything. And there are pets as well, which can confer bonuses to people by assigning them to them. Like uh, they'll find more caps in the wasteland, or they'll heal faster, or they'll um, train faster. So you can train up the stats, which is very helpful. Especially in the later game when you want to really get efficient with everything. So here's our new friend Bittercup, and you have no gun, which is very annoying. And of course, as a special character, you have your own uniform. Let's see what that is. Plus two strength, plus two perception, plus two endurance, and plus one charisma. And you are highly charismatic. <laughs> I think we know what that means you're going to be doing. You're going to be very quickly having children. Oh, we can give you a gun, actually. We have a spare gun. Uh, let's give you that, because it always does damage, whereas that one doesn't, so it kind of averages out as worse. I think it's just about, it ends up about a tiny bit better than a fist, which is not great. And we have a little thing here, which is very interesting. We have our little survival guide here. It tells us all about various things. So there's little bits of bio about these things, so let's you know, click on that and you get 
you know, an idea of it. But most importantly, let's find out about our new friend. Ah. No background detail. I was hoping there'd be a little background detail there. Never mind. Magnifying glass. We can use that to look for stuff, I guess. And, uh, oh, and we'll have her... Ah, her outfit should have a bit of information, I think, hopefully. That's her new outfit. There we are. Perfect for any child at heart. Forced to endure the wastelands. The wastes. I'm writing my own bios here. There we go. Look at that. So what are our objectives now? Please continue the update. You can skip one per day. So you get something that's quite hard or annoying. Ah, equip a dweller with an outfit. Well, if the room doesn't go on fire, I can do that. I am going to order that off you for a second. And then I'm going to go to this lady here. And I'm going to say, have an outfit. And I'm going to say, actually, you know what, that's not yours. Give it back to her it belongs to. And you, with all of those very good stats, I think I should probably put you in the water plant for the time being. Would have been sensible. What do we have here? It's another lunchbox, isn't it? Oh, that is fantastic. That's a lovely early game weapon to be getting. Fab Stimpak, that'll come in handy. Can't produce my own yet. And some battle armour. So what's he done so far? He's found a fugitive slave. He can't get much further. He patched him up, he's back on the run. Wish him the best. So he helps a guy, that's nice. Uh, 10 XP, 25 caps. Found one cap. <laughs> Not so great. Uh, spotted a savage dog. Killed the dog. Got 200 XP. And his bars moved up a tiny, tiny bit. And, ooh, he's, he, it's a bear. Oh, he can't beat the bear. No XP. Darn. He's not found anything yet either, which is kind of annoying. And while there's not much happening, actually, I'm going to look up who... Oh. Ah, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's another little feature. When they're pregnant, um, they don't take part in events, because, of course, they're, um, they're pregnant. But, yeah, for some reason, it just means that they, they, they can't do anything. So they run off to safety, normally in one of the living quarters. So that's, that's a little uh, problem that you can run into if you have lots of female dwellers who are all pregnant. When you have an incident occur, a lot of them might not get involved. Yeah, we've got another lunchbox, so let's see what we get here. Hopefully something very exciting. One. Water? Okay, fair enough. I think we already got one. Hello, what's this? Another gold watch. Fabulous. <laughs> and a rubbish, rubbish pistol. I mean, we did get that awesome sword rifle last time, though, so I can't be too happy. Oh, no, we've got something nice here. Eulogy Jones's suit. Perception, charisma, luck, and intelligence. Out in the wasteland, still nothing has happened. Okay, we've had a few incidents here, and actually I'm getting a bit worried about this guy. He's uh, he's very low on his health there, so I'm actually going to give him the stim pack. There we go. Probably probably used it a little earlier there. Probably should have waited until he was a bit lower, but never mind. Okay, I think we've probably gone about as far as we're going to for today. Uh, join us next time, and we'll build the overseer's office and hopefully get going on a quest and see some of this new combat system which should be very interesting hope you enjoyed the video bye for now